Okay, we'll call this meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, first item is just, uh, just an announcement that council had gone into an executive session prior to this meeting to discuss matters of litigation. Uh, next is... Uh, the uh, Myria Military Installation Remediation Infrastructure Authority is uh, giving us a check. Todd, it's up to you. You got two minutes. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, that's going to cut back on the check. <laughs> I don't know. You should limit the guys who show up. Thank you. Uh, should I even try to raise this? Anyway. Um, oh. There we go. Um, Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And these are um, these are terrific opportunities. I uh, I really enjoy this. So, the Military Installation Remediation and Infrastructure Authority um, has uh, what are called quick response grants, and they really are an opportunity. As you may know, we only get our money from the state government every December, and so we wanted to try to figure out a way to get municipalities uh, funding earlier than that as much as possible, and so. We developed these quick response grants, and um, we are pleased to present uh, Horsham Township with a check for a million dollars. I have tried to cash this all over town, but no one will take it. Um, but we do have a uh, million dollars uh, in response to your uh, grant application for funds for uh, continuing the work at Limecombe Pike and Horsham Road, which I know is uh, significantly more expensive than originally anticipated, given. Uh, issues going on right now with supply chain and inflation and everything else like that so we're happy to help that's a tremendously important project I know to the township to me personally to the Maria as well and we want to be supportive in any way we can I also do want to just make a quick note to bring uh, council up to speed uh, within the last uh, two weeks um, we were able to close and purchase the property at Adams pit stop which is at Blair Mill Road and uh, 611 I know that you guys have done tremendous work on the other side of the 611 there, improving that gateway to Horsham with the CVS and, and the nice wall and the great landscaping and everything else like that. Um, and so when we had an opportunity to uh, continue the transportation improvements in that area that are ongoing from 611 all the way up to Welsh Road, um, this gave us an opportunity to work on the other side of 611, between 611 and Horsham Road, uh, put some right turn lanes, left turn lanes, whatever the engineers think is going to be necessary to get traffic moving there more smoothly and efficiently, but also really beautify and improve that intersection as the gateway to the township. So I uh, wanted to bring you up to speed on that as well. So uh, congratulations and uh, spend it wisely. And um, hopefully we'll see you um, after the December Miria meeting and we'll have some additional grant uh, information probably in January for you. All right. Thank you very much. No much appreciate it. I'm going to do some pictures. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Good. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next is opportunity to question or comments from the public. Anybody? Okay, next is approval of minutes for August 10th and August 22nd. Do we have a motion? Move to approve the minutes as presented. Second. Move second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Seven. Next is the approval of list of checks. I move to approve the list of checks and all funds. I'm sorry. It's been a while. I move to approve the list of checks and all funds in the amount of $291,094.79 and further move to authorize payment of the same. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Next is consider introducing an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance chapter 230 to amend the regulations pertaining to article 39 business park district as it pertains to class one uses. So uh, you're just introducing the ordinance this evening and schedule a public meeting, which is the resolution to consider after this. Um, and where this is coming from is what we've seen the last three or four years in Horsham Township and in, in, in our office parks, and that's life sciences, health sciences. And um, in the Pennsylvania Lifestyle Campus and Horsham Business Center, which is our two largest office parks, um, some of the uses that are needed to make those life science, health science operations occur um, is not in the current ordinance. 
So um, this amending this and allowing certain new uses would um, allow more life and health sciences to come to the office park without having to go to the zoning hearing board. And I don't know if Mary wants to elaborate on that. The only thing I would, uh, sorry, uh, the only thing that I would say in addition to that is specifically what it does, it, is a, it um, makes clear that they're allowed to have flex uses, multiple uses in one building um, so that there can be light assembly and light manufacturing uses with the component storage of materials beforehand and storage of finished product afterhand. So they, they can't have warehouses in the, term, in, in the sense of a building that just exists to store things, but they can have warehousing as part of an assembly or light manufacturing use. And, um, um, that's pretty much what the ordinance accomplishes. Yeah. The most recent example is Myonex behind the high school, different zoning district, um, but they were allowed to do, um, and you've all been to their facility and, and you see what they're doing, and, and uh, um, that would not be, Myonex would not be allowed in our office park without going to the zoning hearing board, so that's what we're amending. It seems like this kind of use is becoming more and more popular these days. It's a good thing. All right, so we're just right now, we're going to introduce the ordinance and then a time and place for it, right? I move to introduce the ordinance as proposed, amending the business, amending the zoning ordinance chapter 230 to amend the regulations pertaining, pertaining to article XXXIX, business park district, as it pertains to class one uses. Second. I move and second, Ms. Roll call vote. Ms. Harmon, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Nesbitt, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Wade, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Whiteside, how do you vote? I vote aye. And Mr. McCouch, how do you vote? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We have a motion for the time and place for the hearing. Move to adopt the resolution proposed establishing a time and place for a public hearing on ordinance amending the zoning ordinance chapter 230 to amend the regulations pertaining to article XXXIX, business park district, as it pertains to class one uses. Wednesday, November 9th, 2022, at 7.45 p.m. in the Worsham Township Building. Second. Moved and seconded. This is a roll call vote. Ms. Harmon, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Nesbitt, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Wade, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Whiteside, how do you vote? I vote aye. And Mr. McCouch, how do you vote? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Next, we have uh, three zoning hearing board applications to be heard. Uh, you actually, uh, two, um, 1250 Eastern Road is on your agenda this evening. Um, they have continued to the November um, Zoning Hearing Board meeting, so they will be at your fourth, um, back at your fourth Monday meeting in October. So your first one um, is Workspace Property, uh, 400 Lakeside Drive, um, and they are looking for a use uh, for 400 Lakeside Drive, the building. Um, this is uh, just to... Um, Get my pointer here working. This is Dresher Road. Uh, this is the extended stay hotel. Um, so you see part of the building from Dresher Road. And then this is the Lakeside Medical Campus. This is Lakeside Drive here. So this is the rear of the building that faces Lakeside Drive. And they are looking for a use variance for an inpatient um, physical rehab um, center to go there. And Eric McHugh is here from Workspace Property to go over their plans. Yes, I uh, apologize in advance for the relative amateur presentation. Our attorney was unable to make it tonight, so I'll do my best to uh, pinch hit for Ms. Phillips Brackleson. Uh, as Bill said, this is 400 Lakeside Drive, a 60, 000, over, just over 60,000 square foot office building that's been vacant since Philidor left us in 2016. Um, through the years of vigorously trying to lease it, we have discovered that there is a dearth of inpatient physical rehabilitation centers in, my, <coughs> excuse me, in Montgomery, Montgomery County. Um, this building is part of our health and wellness campus, which has been a relative success. We've uh, moved uh, Thomas Jefferson University School of Nursing to Lakeside Drive. There's a series of smaller doctor's offices that have moved into 200 Lakeside Drive. So we feel that this use would be an excellent complement to the health and wellness campus as well as the business campus as a whole. Um, it fronts onto Dresher Road and Lakeside Drive. The intent right now, the concept would be that patients are dropped off on Dresher Road and the upper floor of this 
would be an inpatient hospital. This is after you get out of a procedure in an Abington hospital or a Jefferson hospital, you're transported via ambulance to this location where you can do your physical rehab in fitness centers and be attended by nurses. There's no surgeries here. This is just where you get better after, the, uh, after your uh, surgery so that you can fully recover. Um, it's 62,123 square feet. Uh, the building is part of the health and wellness campus, as I said. The other medical uses that are in the business park misuse corridors allow for dentists and doctor's office. They just do not allow for the overnight inpatient basis. So that's what we're asking for here. Um, only internal renovations of the building are planned right now. There might be some cosmetic stuff on the outside. Parking lot might be minorly reconfigured some signage, um, some, some different building numbers, but we believe at this point all of that can be obtained uh, via a building permit. Um, the, uh, the upper floor would have 41 beds or patient rooms. Uh, the lower floor would be a kitchen to cook food for the patients, also back office, administrative office for the operation there. Um, they're estimating about 50 employees and the average stay per patient is 13 days. Uh, no drug or alcohol cessation treatment will be offered here. Um, our current prospect and all of the operators on this are very keen about the concerns. There might be drugs on site here, but this is not, you know, a rehabil not a drug or alcohol rehabilitation. It's just a physical rehabilitation facility. Um, it's not a psychiatric hospital as well. Uh, we've talked with staff. We'll agree to the conditions to limit those uses there. We're fully on board with it. We don't want those sort of uh, uses in the business park either. Um, 400 Lakeside currently has 305 designated parking spaces. Um, their proposed inpatient rehab would only require 164. Um, none of these spaces are being removed, so we're in excess of the parking counts. Um, the patients arrive by medical transport on the Dresher Road. And um, this variance is required to permit that inpatient use. It's certainly compatible with the other uses of the business park, and it expands our health and wellness campus to, and fulfills a need of the community. I'm happy to answer any other questions. It's pretty early in our negotiations with this tenant, uh, but we know if, it, if it's not this one, there's plenty of other operators in the area. Sounds like it's a win-win for yourself and for the township. Uh, my, my, anybody else have anything? Would you need a special <coughs> kind of access for the, you said there's going to be ambulance drop-offs? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much right there right now. Um, the, you know, there is a, there's a ramp that goes up to the double zone. doors. Yep, yep, exactly. Are you okay going neutral with just with those with those conditions that you mentioned? Yes, absolutely. there you'll work on drawing all that together. Be good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Next is uh, 501 Sherwood Lane. So that's a, this is a residential, um, and what they would like to do is a uh, front porch. Um, the uh, zoning is for uh, 50 feet. They currently have um, 51, um, 51 feet 2 inches, so if they put this front porch on, they'd be down to 41.6 um, inches. Um, it's, it's an older one of our neighborhoods in our R4, um, and we think it is an improvement to the neighborhood, and we staff's recommending to be neutral. This is, you know, you can see, you know, it's an older ranch-style home. They want to put this front porch on it, which is an improvement to the house and to the neighborhood. And staff is just recommending you consider it to be neutral. Are you okay with that? Okay. That concludes the ZHB applications. Next is uh, an amendment. We're going to consider amendment to a contract agreement with All Rose LLC for roadway acquisition services for Horsham Road and Line Come Pike intersection. So as you know, we're, we're really into um, right-of-way uh, acquisition phase of the Limekill Pike Horsham Road uh, intersection improvement project. And back in the summer, I think it was June for both of these, but the summer of 2020, uh, we had to enter into agreements, contracts for a, an appraisal um, right-of-way company, um, a, an appraisal company, and also appraisal review service company. Um, Time has marched on on us. It's been three years. Um, they are working very hard, um, but um, and have come up against some things that they weren't expecting with time and um, uh, negotiations with property owners. So in front of you this evening is um, an amendment um, to Alrose um, 
they are asking to continue moving forward. They are asking for um, to amend their contract for an additional $63,839.81. Um, with what they know today, they think that will um, be able to um, take them to the end of this. Um, we are entering um, condemnation phase, um, which is also Indian Valley's proposal. So um, Indian Valley proposal is a little bit different. But they um, they need uh, some additional money for condemnation appraisals um, to um, for us to move forward with some condemnations um, for the project. Um, the is good news and bad news is the you know the good news is the property owners are not um, in opposition of the project. Um, they're just and I, and I, and we all would be in the same position if um, if they think they can get more money a different going down a different path than um, just negotiating um, with us on a price. There's they can go to the Board of View, they can do condemnation, and they're just going different paths. So we had a little bit more go different paths than what we were expecting. Thus, our consultants need some more money to keep moving forward with the project with right-of-way acquisition. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions about those two items? If not, there's two, <coughs> excuse me, there'll be two motions, one for all rows and one for an Indian Valley appraisal. I move to authorize amending the agreement with all rows LLC as per the letter dated September 21st, 2022 for right-of-way acquisition services for the Horsham Road and Lime Kiln Pike intersection improvement project. Also, I move to authorize amending the agreement with Indian Valley Appraisal Company as per dated letter dated September 22nd, 2022, to do the right of way of appraisals for the Horsham Road and Lime Kiln Pike project. Second. Uh, moved and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Have it. Next is review of every request um, for land development from Aqua, Pennsylvania. Uh, so at your last meeting, um, you gave, you rendered your decision on their conditional use application and they are here this evening um, for their requested waiver of land development. Um, and uh, their attorney, Deb Shulsky, is here to present and ask for a waiver of land development. Good evening, Deborah Shulsky with the firm of Riley Viper, Han and Kyle Greco here on behalf of Aqua, Pennsylvania. Also with me is Roger Phillips, who's our civil engineer on the project and as Bill indicated, we are before you in August on a conditional use for this proposal involving crossing of the riparian buffer to allow for certain utility lines associated with this upgrade to the water treatment plant facility. And I think at that time, we had gone through in, in uh, pretty good detail what we were proposing to do. Um, and of course, you have since granted that application. So we're here tonight seeking a waiver of land development um, given the minimum improvements that are proposed um, with respect to the scope of the improvements and the fact that Aqua Pennsylvania obviously is a public utility and they're providing a, a service to the community. They would like to be able to start this work um, as soon as possible so they could hopefully make some headway before the uh, winter months are upon us. So uh, we would greatly appreciate if council would consider this waiver. We're happy to answer any questions you have. If you want us to go through the plan again, I know we did that in great detail, but we're happy to walk you through that again if you would like. We're pretty familiar with it. Bill, would you have anything additional on that? Or? Um, no, um, I, I, I think we want you to get underway as soon as possible also just for the public safety and, and get these chemicals out of the water coming from this wells, of these two wells. Um, just, uh, I know it's in your testimony of your conditional use hearing, but you know, we have home road residents that are, you know, we talked about the landscaping during yep. your conditional use application that we just want to be followed through. Correct. Yeah. And we will have somebody, I know that Roger had, had uh, prepared or looked at the, the survey plan and was able to um, save a great extent of those trees along that buffer where that adjacent property owner is. And we're willing to, you know, relocate slightly the fence to make sure we can save the maximum amount to the extent possible. And I, I assume we would, you know, coordinate with the township engineer, whoever the appropriate person was to come out the site at maybe at the pre-com meeting to to discuss that issue. Okay. Mary, anything additional, Mary? Um, I, I just do you want to do it by resolution or do you want to do it by motion tonight? Bill, do you? we can 
I rather just for our record keeping and our process do it by resolution but in the meantime we can get going with your building permit if has it been submitted do you know no, no. so go ahead and submit that we'll get going okay. on that so you know um, and again we don't want to be it we don't want to hold you up or be a delight to get these filters on on to these right. two wells so um, just reach out to me or, or Mike Shinton and we'll get you going with that hole and get okay. get that process going so we wouldn't need to enter into the the typical agreements that I mean I know we need to do a no, stormwater oh, agreement no, but we no. don't need to do a developer mm. or okay no no so just nope. a resolution just a, your next you want meeting a though. motion just to cover that before the resolution or no you can do that at your next meeting um, and then but in the meantime we'll set them all up to get going okay good to go Thank you. all right thank you very much Okay, no other business on the agenda. This meeting is adjourned.